In today's video, I'm going to cover the new Chinese models from Kuen. Kuen is a company from Alibaba that is doing open source software. And I gotta say, guys, they have been beating USA companies lately with amazing, super fast and super cheap models. But the most important thing is the release that they have done lately of a family of models that are able to generate text, do agentic tasks, but also have amazing image understanding, which opens up new frontiers across any modality. Let me explain because this thing that has been happening will allow us to understand the future three and six months of what is coming out for AI tools. Really guys, this is frontier performance, meaning state of the art, and it's pretty incredible for me to show you. First of all, these models are vision language models. They are able to understand text and vision at the same time. Here is a query that I have done inside chat.quen.ai. I gave it two images and I told it to merge everything into a single table, which was able to do pretty significantly. It added all of the models and all of the benchmarks across the board into a single table, which I think is pretty, pretty amazing. There are other capabilities like understanding images, doing computer use, uh, taking an image and turning it into a website and a lot of other things. But what I want to do here is to give you an overview of what has been happening, why it's important, rather than trying to show you everything and, you know, benchmarking the model. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I have created a free school community. The link for it is down below. You can join completely for free. And here I'm going to be posting courses that will teach you whatever you need to navigate the new paradigm of AI. So I would highly suggest that you join. It's a free community. I look to teach you guys, but also get you to request me tutorials, to meet other people, potential job opportunities, but also cover AI news. So today, guys, we're going to get started with Quen3 Vision Language. They released a mixture of expert model with only 22 billion active parameters and 235 billion parameters. This happened about a month ago, but I'm also going to cover the previous newer models that were released 10 days ago, but also the models that were released today. This is very significant. This video is not going to be simple. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's super important to understand what you will be seeing today because it's going to be insane. So guys, these models are able to even beat Gemini 2.5 on vision benchmarks. And Gemini 2.5 Pro is a very good model for vision understanding. Like it's one of the frontier best models out there. So Quen was able to create an instruct model, meaning a non-thinking model that is able to follow instructions that goes head to head with only 22 billion active parameters and it compares against GPT-5 without thinking, Gemini 2.5 Pro and the previous cloud Opus 1.4, 4.1 without thinking again because all of them are non-thinking models and it's very very good. It's beating all of the other models in various benchmarks. You can see here the red, you know, colors are the performance when they beat the other models. One of the most important things is that this model, the Instruct version, is costing only 30 cents per million token input and one dollar per million token output. So it's a very cheap model to have and use. However, you cannot self-host it. But in general, it's a very powerful model and it's beating prominent closed source models without thinking. You can see here that it does incredibly well on multiple STEM and puzzle benchmarks. General vision question answering methods, it's able to follow instructions, understand text, which is super important. This is one of the most important things because it's going to allow us high quality data generation from the real world, from real world documents into digital documents. It's able to do 2D and 3D understanding it's able to understand multiple images at once. It's able to understand video, which is something that Google should be one of the best to do so, as we can see here. Also, it's able to do agentic tasks and it's also able to go from images to code very, very effectively. And that's one of the biggest things ever. Now, I want to follow suit. I want to focus now on the thinking model. So this is the thinking version of this large model. And this is only the start of today's video. We got so many other things to cover. So here you see it's performance versus the thinking alternatives of closed source models. And we can see here that it's doing tremendously well. It's even beating them on multiple benchmarks, as we can obviously see over here. So that's pretty, pretty insane. 
And what I want to do here is try and do a comparison between the non-thinking and the thinking version. So let's do a split screen real quickly. And here we can see the typical same benchmarks. In the thinking version, they've got some more benchmarks. And we see that the performance between the thinking and the non-thinking is very, very close. However, in some benchmarks, the improvement is significant. It's very significantly improved, like uh, the mathverse is about 12 points in absolute values better. So you can understand here that both versions of this model is, you know, super, super powerful and it beats closed source a lot costlier models. Like this model in the thinking version costs about $3.5 per million token output, while the other models cost about $10 per million token output. So you got to understand that a very good open source model for vision language understanding is beating models three times more costly and it comes out of China. And this model came out like a month ago. So you got to understand where the frontier stands. Also, we have text performance here. And this is something very, very interesting. This model is very, very capable at text as well. Even though it's a vision language model, its performance, it's not really degrading on text tasks. And that's very, very major. It even beats the previous version of DeepSeek. And it's matching the performance of Cloud Opus 4 without thinking. And this is very significant because in the future, we're going to see vision language models taking over from simple LLMs. We're going to see models that are able to work across any modality. And here is the thinking version of this model. We can also see a comparison versus the thinking version, just text-only thinking version released from Quen pretty recently. And the performance is pretty equivalent. So you have a model that it builds on top of this thinking model. It has vision understanding as well, state-of-the-art vision understanding. It's super cheap and has great performance on vision as well. This is quite, quite incredible. And here are some more benchmarks with tool usage. Tool usage improves this model quite a lot, I gotta say, versus its baseline. And it's also able to beat Gemini 2.5 Pro, as well as Gemini 2.5 Pro with thinking. Even though this model doesn't have thinking, it just is able to use tools. And here we can see the OCR performance. OCR means, meaning optical character recognition, means tagging a document through a photo or a scan and turn it into a digital document. And we can see here per language, its performance. It has so many languages and it's super, super capable. This in general is super, super incredible. This is literally a new frontier. And what Quen has been saying is that these vision language models will be the norm from now on. You can even see it here. They have only the vision language models by default. They no longer serve the simple text models because it doesn't make sense to do so. The vision language models match the performance on text and they're a lot better at vision tasks. So you can understand here that in the very near future, we're going to see vision language models as alternatives to these, you know, large language models. We're moving away from just text into image, text and video at the same time. And recently they released a smaller version of this model, which has 30 billion total parameters and only 3 billion active. What does that mean? That means that the cost to use these models falls significantly. Here you can see comparison and the model, even though it's not shown here, is cheaper in general. It's a lot cheaper if you serve it on your own and a little cheaper if you serve it through open router. Especially the thinking version of this model is super, super cheap with only $1 per million token output. And by checking the benchmarks, we can see it beats the previous very large model with 72 billion parameters from Quen. It's also matching and in many cases beats GPT-5 mini with minimal thinking and Cloud4 Sonnet without thinking. So it's a very capable model and also a quite cheap model. Also the thinking version is doing a tremendous job. It's really matching head on head the GPT-5 mini high and Cloud4 Sonnet thinking. And again, we have the pure, you know, text performance here. We can see the instruct and the thinking version. As always, the thinking version usually beats the simple instruct and it proves to be a significantly better model than the non-vision you know, language models that Gwen has released. 
So very strong text and visual vision performance across multiple benchmarks. This in general is pretty, pretty incredible. You can use them again completely for free inside Quent dot chat AI. So you can find them here through the model selector. They also got the Quen3 Max model. That is the best open source model. It's not open source actually, but it's very, very powerful and it beats GPT-5 and Cloud Sonnet. Not 0.5 Sonnet, but just Cloud Sonnet. And recently they released a very small version of this family of models that have 4 billion and 8 billion parameters. These you could potentially run locally on your computer if you have a GPU with about 6 to 10 gigabytes of video RAM. And that's very, very insane. And these models outperform models like Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite and GPT-5 Nano. So across all of the model, you know, parameters, they're offering solutions straight from China that are very, very competitive to these closed source paid commercial models. And these are fully open source. And if you want to use these models through the API, they cost a little bit more, I gotta say. I expected them to be a little bit more cheaper, as we can see here on Open Router, but they are very, very capable. So let's take a look at the benchmarks. I have not personally seen them already. So I think that would be very interesting to see together. So these models are instruct models. They also release thinking version of these and they also benchmark the text performance. So let's take a look at the benchmarks because I find them really interesting. First of all, the jump versus the previous 72 billion instruct model is very significant across multiple modalities. We're talking about a model that is nearly 10 times smaller and it's matching the performance of the previous generation. That means lower cost potentially used locally on your computer using your GPU. Most GPUs right now come with 8 to 10 gigabytes of VRAM. And we can see also performance boosts across multiple benchmarks. And it's also beating Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite and GPT-5 Nano. So you don't, you no longer need to use these models because you can run these locally. And even the 4 billion model is super, super capable. The thinking version of these also do a tremendous job against the same competition. Probably Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite and GPT-5 Nano have similar sizes, but you can see here that Quen3 Vision Language with 8 billion thinking is doing a tremendous job across multiple benchmarks. Finally, for text performance, we can see a comparison. So let's check that here. We can see versus the previous Quen versions, they do a tremendous good job at the same, you know, parameter count. They do a tremendous jump of 6 to 10% absolute improvement, which is very, very significant. You got to understand that Quen is releasing new models every one to two months. So these are monthly improvements on very small models. And this is on text performance. They compare the vision language model versus the text models they released like a month ago. This is super, super significant, guys. We're talking about huge improvement boosts. And the same thing happens also with the thinking versions of these models. So Quen just offers us super cheap, super small models that now not only are super capable on text, coding, math, blah, 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 but they're also super capable on vision tasks. They can understand images and videos super well. And all of that open source to use on your own systems, on your own servers, on your own solutions. And here is something that a lot of people don't appreciate and I want to cover it super, uh, you know, super in depth. Quen is a Chinese company. It's from Alibaba. Their resources are not close to what XA, OpenAI, Claude and Google have. We're talking about a company and a team that has one tenth of the resources of these USA-based companies. They potentially don't even have the data. However, they are capable to release multiple models multiple times per month and also improve them massively. We're talking about super cheap models, cheaper than any commercial USA model out there. We're talking about open source models across all of modalities and they release multiple models per month. So what you get to understand is that the new models that will be coming out from USA are going to be even more insane. We're no longer in the paradigm of just 
text. We're no longer browsing the web. We're understanding images and turning images into whatever we can think of. And this is pretty, pretty scary times. These vision language models can power computer browser usage, meaning the tasks we do on the computer navigating the web as real humans, these models will probably be able to do. Maybe a little slower than us, but 24-7. I'm really scared that in the near future, the automation of human jobs is going to reach a new level. Let me know what you believe about these updates. I think this is one of the most interesting releases that have happened lately on AI. I know GPT-5 is doing amazing, Cloudforce 0.5 Sonnet is doing amazing on coding and doing new discoveries, but this is something very practical, very useful thing that just have come out from a company that has so little resources. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.